How are you? I'm fine. How was the day? It's good. Yeah, it's good. It's late here. So I have a, I'm snuggling with my cat. I can show you him. This is my little guy. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. You like it, right? I do. I've got two cats. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you're done with your dinner? I am. Yeah, it's later here. It's getting closer to my bedtime. Have you had breakfast yet? Not yet. I have to. Just complete with the tea. It sounds good. It sounds okay. Good. So you're done with um, your all um, walks in home, like a dinner preparation and a garden. garden. Yes. <laughs> yep. I, I was pretty lazy today, actually. <laughs> because you had a holiday yesterday. That might be... Yes, we had a holiday yesterday, our Independence Day with lots of fireworks and people set off fireworks all night long. <laughs> so I'm feeling... So you enjoyed that early? Yes, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you went out for uh, celebration? I, we stayed in just because everything is... Um, and I, where we were, it was easy to see a lot of the fireworks. Okay. Which I enjoy. Um, but people were setting them off until 4 a.m. So <laughs> I'm oh. just ready for sleep. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you went out or not? Um, no, we just had a couple of friends over and barbecued. We had some, some good food. Oh, that, that meeting a friends is very exciting always because of everyone waiting for a weekend sometimes to meet friends yeah. and have the fun and what about the corona situation there now everything is over uh it depends on which part of the country you live in each state has its own different um, mandates and in colorado it's it's starting to open up again also okay. okay. How about you guys? How are you doing with everything? Is it yeah, still uh, just started everything like um, all these days uh, we had a lockdown. So now everything is going to open up like uh, we didn't have buses yet. So the place which I live here. So we have just started starting the buses and uh, hotels, malls, everything is going to open from yesterday. I think so all these days we had a lockdown. So we should not go even out. There is a, some particular timings was there to go out and bring the vegetables and the uh, general needs. So, and, um, and I, um, everything is going to open now, I think. Good. The situation, the situation is going on, okay, one by one. So, two months back, the situation was very bad in India, I can say. Maybe it's going to be better. And the unemployment was really the big factor in the lockdown because of um, so lockdown means we should not go out. The um, to survive money is uh, very important. I mean unemployment uh, people were very suffered a lot. I can say I can see I could see that many people suffered for money as well. So uh, and I heard about the uh, your country like unemployment compensation is there for. Um, uh, on some particular criteria, if anyone doesn't have like a job, so government is going to give the unemployment compensation. Is it true? Uh, it is. You have to meet certain criteria. I'm not certain of of that list of criteria, but mm -hmm. I, I do know that they've they've tried hard to take care of people um, who've had to lose their jobs okay. because of everything in this last year. Okay. Have you seen any guy losing job because of the corona? A lot of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, I'm sorry uh, to hear actually because I'm sorry to that. So so the government schemes are there to avail any um like I mean to say avail any um, unemployment compensation over there in this situ corona situation? Uh, there is the again I, I don't know what the criteria are, but there are I know programs that are that are there to help people who've lost their jobs um, during Corona and outside of Corona. Exactly, um, even that is a very good idea because many people lost their jobs. So this type of schemes will be useful for the for employees and folks and citizens uh, who doesn't have uh, finance um, money and financially suffering like that. Uh, even 
many children lost their parents i have seen and that was very sad actually okay. yeah so even in my relatives also many people lost their parents it was very sad i don't want to hear it um uh, when pre covid it could get that way during rush hour um so after work and before work when it was really busy everybody was making their way to work or on their way home it could get pretty packed so there was only standing room um but otherwise it's it's pretty mellow and most people have a seat you have somewhere to sit okay so the standing position is allowed in the buses uh yeah during during rush hour okay okay actually sometimes i we can say we don't have get a chance to stand also that much rush is there so that is horrible even in this corona situation social distance is very important so that is why i'm asking you so and one more question i have do you, have you ever seen any guy who participated in the olympics because the colorado is very famous for its uh, snow olympic games it seems i have seen through i went through so have you seen any guy who participated in olympics like in the uh, group of your friends colleagues or neighbors Um, I haven't seen it personally, but I have a lot of friends. I have a lot of friends that are skiers and snowboarders. So they, you know, the down the hills of snow and doing tricks and going really, really fast. I, I don't. <laughs> I'm not that brave. <laughs> okay, so you, at least you never been there in the Olympics uh, games. Um, no, no, you're okay. That's fine. Uh, and. Um, and i i heard like there is very big swimming pool in the colorado so have you been there to a swimming pool yeah it's a big swimming pool is there in the colorado it seems i know there's the olympic training center in colorado springs uh but i i've never been to that before we have some swimming pools but i've never been to the olympic size one okay i heard like a very big uh, swimming pool is there in colorado I possibly I'm not sure where it is. I I do know we have a an Olympic training center here in Colorado, but I've never been. I've driven by it, but I think you are <laughs> okay. I think you are very silent guy. <laughs> so okay, so the schooling is very good it seems there like um the punctuality the and the subject they explain and they explain in the practical way and they made us to go through practical how was your school days there i loved it um i went to a very small school and okay. my favorite subject actually was english um i loved yeah. reading you know as many books as i possibly could and writing and poetry and yeah english i think was probably my favorite subject I think you don't have any problem with English because your mother language is also English, right? So, <laughs> how about you? Did you have a a favorite subject in school? Uh yeah, I science is favorite and human anatomy uh human anatomy I like. Whenever I feel bored, I used to study about human anatomy because uh, it's like a, our um, human body is like a big mission. We don't know the things what is going on in our bodies. Yeah. Exactly. I like to know the many things about human anatomy. So sometimes I used to study whenever I get the time because mostly we don't get time. Absolutely. Do you yeah. so? Had do you wish you'd been gone to school for to be a doctor? Is that something you want to do? Not like that. Actually, I just study for my GK purpose. I just want to know the things. So what's going in on our body? So how the body behaves. so that time the things whenever thing uh, like uh, when i get the doubts i will come to know the points so suppose like what is the some type of uh, natural doubts we get right so that time i google it do you like science i do um i loved biology in oh, biology. school okay. yeah i um i was always really terrible at chemistry Okay, um, that is, that is also interesting like it's, it's like a big subject chemistry also the many things are there to learn in the chemistry yes yeah so yeah and when i was actually i was curious um kind of switching gears a little bit do you have any rules that you live by yeah i have two rules normally so the first rule is um, always having fun 
The second rule is I'm j- uh, just following the first rule. It's a it's a good rule to live by. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy life. Exactly. We should enjoy our life. We don't know when we are going to die, right? So every minute we have to, but our life makes us to go somewhere, like uh, have to uh, part of some another things also. We can't. We can't sometimes enjoy our every minute. Is it true? I think so. And smile always. <laughs> yeah, even every situation we should try to smile. But uh, sometimes we can't. I will try my level best because it is in my form uh, rule. And uh, do you have any favorite uh, hero like uh, Sp- Spider Man, Superman? Um, I am fascinated by that world. I think Batman is probably one of my favorites. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, how about you? Do you have a, a favorite hero, real yeah, yeah. or otherwise? Yeah, yeah. Because I watch Telugu movies, so mostly I like the um, Balakrishna. So, Jay Balaya is a very powerful, uh, impacting acting is there. So, he always give the good uh, dialogues. So, every uh, youth from the Telugu likes uh, Balakrishna dialogues. We always, when we go to the theaters, we always try to do Jai Balaya. You also can try. Can you try Jai Balaya? Jai Balaya. Am I saying oh, that right? Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Really, that was very great. And uh, and during school days, I want to ask, did you get any love letters in the school days? Um, I got a few, you know, on Valentine's Day and, and different um you know, just from usually from the same person, but yeah, I got love letters. How about you on holidays? Ah, uh, I didn't get love letters, but only just looks went through <laughs> because she didn't dare me because even I didn't dare. Uh, okay. We just <laughs> just having a chat, and uh, we had a nice time uh, because. Uh, I was not that much uh, mature to give the love letters, maybe, but I had uh, some impression on that girl, and uh, sh- I thought the same from that girl. We used to chit chat. So, how many little, how many love letters you got from the same guy? Um, five or six, I guess. Oh, that, that's <laughs> great, Megan. You, you deserve. I think I, ha- I thought you might be getting more than that, but. I think, I mean, a lot of it was, I think, the same sort of like you, you see each other and you okay. flirt, you know, it's it's not so much written down. Some some feeling inside you would be getting yeah. when you get oh, Okay. <laughs> you enjoyed that feeling? Yes. So okay. I think it's, it's yeah. Less so, okay. If you enjoy this conversation with Venkata and Megan, please like and subscribe. Uh, follow us on YouTube. Thank you so much, Megan. Have a nice day. You as well. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Bye.